The feasibility studies for the projected next-generation rocket that China is developing achieved their conclusion. The projected launch vehicle, which is now referred to as the Long March 9, will be available to deliver 100 tons to the moon, may see its maiden launch as early as the year 2030. In today's episode, we'll be discussing China's plans to launch the biggest rocket in the world, Long March 9. If you're a fan of the China space program, consider subscribing to the channel as we upload regularly. Now, let's continue. The most recent design of the Chinese Saturn V rocket, known as the Long March 9 Super Heavy rocket, was unveiled on April 23, 2022 by the chief designer of Long March rockets. This rocket, which has been announced for a few years, has the potential to become the largest rocket ever built by mankind. It's moving one step closer to being a reality that the Long March 9 rocket will be built. This rocket is comparable to the NASA Saturn V rocket and the Apollo project in terms of its most recent design. The newly disclosed design has a diameter of 11 meters at both the first and second stage, which is approximately one meter larger than the Saturn V. In comparison, the diameter of the current SLS rocket is 8.4 meters. This rocket has undergone multiple iterations of its configuration and long law how presented audience members the most recent specifications. Elon Musk's spaceship rocket will be the biggest rocket in the annals of spaceflight history. In essence, it is an extensively revised version of past designs, comparing them to this one, which has a higher diameter and height. Compares the size of three Long March rockets to that of China's amphibious assault ship. The layout of this rocket is more versatile in the current version. For example, the third stage is 7.5 meters in diameter, but it is possible to have a greater housing for huge dimension cargo. The new design has a height of 111 meters, which is comparable to that of a Saturn V, but is 13 meters higher than the SLS rocket. It's quite evident that version 22 will be significantly bigger than version 2021. The latest iteration of the Long March 9 rocket is equipped with an increased number of rocket engines. Models that were created in the past have attempted to strike a compromise between the mission payload capacity and the efficiency of the engines. Long story short, the version with the most engines ever used, 26,200 ton liquid oxygen methane engines, and this engine is brand new, have not been given a model name or number, the thrust of the first stage will be 5,200 tons lower than the previous two versions by about 700 tons, but there is no reduction in payload capacity. The exact configuration of the engine amount, type of engines and boosters has been changed several times in the past. 150 tons for low Earth orbit and 50 tons for Earth-Moon transfer orbit. This indicates that the new engine arrangement will be able to attain much improved levels of efficiency. Methane fuel, in comparison to kerosene and liquid hydrogen, has many advantages, including the preservation of methane and oxygen, the simplification of fuel tank design, and the reduction in weight. Secondly, a liquid hydrogen and oxygen engine is a fashionable fuel choice. However, it is a much lower density of energy, which makes liquid hydrogen tanks much larger and creates many design issues. In the end, Chinese engineers came to the conclusion that the methane-oxygen engine would be the most effective solution for the Long March 9. The Long March 9 will be an essential component in China's long-term goals in space and was announced in the year 2018. If all goes according to plan, its first cargo will probably be a trip to return samples from Mars, and it will also help China's efforts to expand its presence on the moon. It has also been suggested that the Super Heavy Lift vehicle may be used to construct an experimental space-based solar power station. However, plans for this particular project are still in the very early stages of development. Long March 9 is the China National Space Administration CNSA's response to NASA's Space Launch System (SLS), at least in terms of payload capabilities. However, it is possible that Long March 9 may not be able to be utilized for crewed lunar missions in the same manner that SLS would. Instead, it seems that the Long March 9 will be used to send up infrastructure and supplies, while a different planned vehicle, which is now only referred to as the 921 rocket, will carry passengers to their destination. 
it's still unknown whether or not both vehicles will wind up being authorized and developed in tandem with one another. It's also unknown if the Long March 9 will be reusable after it has been used. If this is not possible, it may reduce the lifetime of the rocket, as the CNSA intends to make all of its launch vehicles reusable by the year 2035, if it is possible to do so. The Long March 8, which successfully launched for the first time in December of last year, will serve as the CNSA's first effort at a reusable first stage in an expendable form. The state is almost ready to give its blessing to the Long March 9. After that, it will go on to the next phase of development, which, according to Luan NG, a former chairman of the CNSA, would involve the production and testing of various pieces of hardware. According to what he had to say, we're working toward commencing research work on the heavy lift launch vehicle within the term of the 14th five-year plan, 2021 to 2025. When it is finished, the Long March 9 will have capabilities that are incomparably superior to those of any of the CNSA's other vehicles. It will have a height of 93 meters, and its central stage will be 10 meters wide. Its first stage will be supplemented by four huge side boosters, which will allow the rocket to lift payloads to low Earth orbit that weigh up to 150 tons, six times more than the current Long March 5 rocket. The construction of a modular space station in low Earth orbit is the next major effort that the CNSA will undertake between now and the maiden launch of the Long March 9 in the year 2030. The introduction of the first modules is scheduled for this spring. The station will allow the Chinese National Space Administration CNSA, to gain experience in long-duration spaceflight, which would pave the way for future crewed trips to the moon once the Long March 9 rocket and the 921 rocket are ready for launch. China has paved its way to bring best rocket technology for its future space missions. We have already discussed the plans of hybrid rocket that is the Long March 6A and also the reusable rockets in our past episode, and by seeing the progress, we can firmly say that China's space program is going to be a leader in this industry in the future. There are still shortcomings when we compare this to NASA and SpaceX. However, the dedication of the Chinese and their state policies toward space exploration shows how China is committed for its future missions. That's it for today, gentlemen. If you liked the video and found it useful, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified when new interesting content is available. You can also suggest new topics for us to cover next, and we will make it for you.